I'm crossing the Strait of Gibraltar, and up ahead is the continent of Africa. We are on our way to Ceuta, an autonomous Spanish city. About 80,000 people live on this small peninsula, which is about five kilometers long. A trip from mainland Spain takes about an hour. Here I am. Ceuta is located on the northern tip of Africa at the entrance to the Mediterranean Sea. Considered a prized possession, it was fought over by many countries as a key military and transportation hub. It became a Spanish territory in the 16th century. A fortress guards the entrance to the city. It is bordered by Morocco on the southern side. Wow, that structure must be the fortress. It does look impenetrable. Construction was begun by the Roman Empire in 40 AD. That's almost 2,000 years ago. This city has a very long history. What? Are those people climbing the wall? Are they rock climbers? They seem to be wearing orange uniforms. Good morning. May I ask what you're doing? Cleaning. Bullets. That's amazing. Have you found anything else? I bet this fortress has quite a history of hostile attacks. Thank you. Bye. The Roman fortress was taken over by generations of rulers who protected the city. Ah, the African sun. Here I am at the main street. There are quite a lot of people here. And the sidewalks here paved with stone, I see. I think I'll take a look down this side street. Oh, there are a group of guys talking. Good morning. What? <laughs> I guess he's a karate fan. Hmm, this place looks pretty spacious. Vegetables? Oh, this must be a market. All sorts of vegetables in all sorts of colors. Looks like a shopper forgot something. Oh my, he just threw the strawberries. They seem very casual about the whole thing. Are all of these vegetables grown in Ceuta? Huh? What's that stick-like thing? It looks like a ladle of some sort. And he puts the change in it. That's a very handy tool you have. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> uh -huh. I hear a bell. What's up? Campana, 
What an interesting guy. Take care. That grocer was so much fun. And now I'm back on Main Street. And here's a plaza. There's a group of young women hanging out over there. Hola. <laughs> Hello. Are you students? <laughs> now that's a good sized sandwich. Is that your lunch? Huh? No. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. You two are wearing scarves. Do students of different religious affiliations attend your school? I see. Oh, good for you. Yo no. Ah? Why are you embarrassed? Thank you. Intercultural relationships must be the norm here. Anyway, I think I'll walk a bit further down Main Street. Furniture? That man is shouting. I wonder what he's doing. Hello. What are you doing? We compramos muebles, cosas usadas, muebles, dormitorios, lavera, lavadoras, lavajilla, todas las cosas, cosas usadas. It seems he collects used goods and takes them to Morocco to sell. Someone just called out to him. Uh-huh. Free? Monitor que no lo queremos. Monitor que no queremos y se lo regalamos para que tenga. Oh. Hmm. So does he end up going back to Morocco empty-handed? Is that guy a colleague? What does he have? A steam iron and a clock. He's collected quite a few things. So that's why you want used goods. Sí, me llamo la la mezquita. Is that a joke? Thanks for speaking with me. Good luck with your quest. Bye. This cross-border business must be unique to Ceuta. These sidewalk tiles look so great. Wow, looks like that man is carrying some heavy bags. I can see that there are fish tails sticking out. I wonder what kind of fish he has. Hello, excuse me. Hola, buenos días. The fish you're carrying look heavy. Oh, sí, pescado bonito para arreglarlo, ahora para secar. You dry the bonito. 
How do you do that? He's going to show me. Checadero. So this is the drying room. I want to see how he does it. Ah, the bonito are filleted and hung up to dry. First, he cuts it open. That must be salt. I've seen this done before. Sal. Sal marina. Viene de los romanos. Viene en terra de medio en sal. A tradition going back to the days of the ancient Romans. That's very old. I see. This method of drying bonito has been passed on for thousands of years. I wonder what that statue commemorates. This seaside road should take me to the Moroccan border. I just noticed how crowded the road is. What a traffic jam. I wonder if this guy is taking stuff he bought in Ceuta back to Morocco. There sure are a lot of people. Oh, a kid in a stroller. Hello. I'm fine. May I ask you a question? Is today a special occasion? Are you here to shop in Ceuta? Yo vivo aquí en Ceuta. Vivimos en Ceuta. Why did you go to Morocco? Tengo mi familia y mis hermanos. Tengo familia en Marruecos, en Tetuán. You have family in Morocco. Sí, voy a Marruecos a ver a mi familia. Los fines de semana también voy entre entre semana. That often. Thanks for stopping to talk to me. De nada. Nada suerte. <laughs> Adiós. Adiós. Well, it seems that crossing the border is an everyday occurrence for them. Ah, the border gate must be up ahead. A guard is inspecting luggage and there are so many people waiting in line. For Ceutans, the other side is Africa. And for Africans, this Ceuta is Europe. Nice stone arch, wow. The ocean is so breathtakingly blue. Ah, there's someone out there. Oh, he's swimming. And he has this whole place to himself. Oh, he's coming back. It must feel so great to swim here. Look, a friend of his is here. And now his friend is going for a swim. Do you mean the Strait of Gibraltar? You're going to swim across by yourself? Wow! Europe and Africa are so close to each other. It seems that Ceuta is a city where the people and cultures of Africa and Europe meet and come together. <laughs> 